Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is T-Soul Games, and today I'm going to be making Black Widow. As you can see on the screen, this is the black version, but there's also an alt that you can make using the white version of Black Widow that they've been marketing in the shop as well. Here's two different versions. I'll just quickly show you how to make these. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. This one was actually requested by Ethan, so thank you very much, Ethan, for requesting this in the comments of one of my videos. Really appreciate it. I do read all the comments, and I reply as quickly as I'm able to, so thank you guys so much. Don't forget, you can use code T-Soul Games in the Fortnite item shop whenever you make a purchase or buy a battle pass. It really helps me out, guys, and I really appreciate it. Let me show you how to make Black Widow from Timu, the Walmart version. This one's really fun because it's very easy, actually. It's very simple. I'll show you how to do this, and it involves making the all-black setup. So in the locker, you go to Dynamo Dancer. This is the white chick superhero skin. The carbon fiber holster. This was a battle pass back bling. The electrostatic impactor in its secondary style. The gunbrella. For the contrail, I actually like to go empty, but there is something you can do here for this one. So let's go ahead and just break this down really quick. I'll show you how to build this. For Black Widow in the all black suit, we do the bionic forge suit pattern. There's a reason I'm choosing this one is because it works best for the secondary as well. And I'll show you that. We do hairstyle C, eye mask off, belt on. For the primary, we're going to go black and plastic. For the secondary material, we're going to go silver and metallic. For the belt, we're going to go black. For the eyes, it's off and off. Skin tint, it's off. And for the hair tint, we're actually going to go with brick red. You can also do bright red. It makes the red stand out a lot more. But if we're doing this to reflect kind of what the legitimate Fortnite Marvel skins look like, then we want to go with the darker red. It doesn't glow as much because you don't get this like brown section in the superhero skin like you do in the legitimate one. Hers is like all red. But for this one, we're just going to keep it brick red. And also one thing I wanted to mention is that there's also an alt for the Black Widow official skin. It's the blonde version. Now, there's a couple of ways you can do this. You can do this just straight yellow blonde, but the blonde version that is the official legit one is a little closer to the mustard color. So I would just go with the mustard for the blonde. It looks a little bit more natural of a blonde. And so that's the way you can do this one. That same thing applies when you do the alt or the primary if you're going to the white version of the suit. But the original version that comes with the blonde alt is just the black version. So I'm just going to point that out for you. So that's something to mention there too. Um, you can do bright if you want. For the sticker, there's two options that I think are very good. To get the Black Widow logo, I use this Fire Hazard one, which I believe is a Chapter 5 one. Normally her logo is here and here. We're actually only going to be able to see it here. You can also do the lips. This one works really good as well because she's a Black Widow. Darth Maul will actually work too if that's the only one you have that's red. The GG can work too. I like this one the best. Let's take a look. You guys see this is the black, black widow, the black suit. Now there's also a way we can make the white one. It's actually very similar. If you guys followed the pattern here and you chose Bionic Forge and your primary color is black, all we do is change this one to white. And there you have it. And this one has like the Bionic Forge pattern has these black straps that go through and around and everywhere, but it leaves the gloves and the boots and the majority of the suit white. This is what the legitimate Marvel collab white Black Widow skin looks like. We're actually able to replicate very, very closely um, a really nice knockoff Walmart brand. If you don't have these, I would say just go with no back bling. Rocker, just like that. For the pickaxe, for this one, I would do the electrostatic impactor. She has stun batons. You can even do this double-sided one here, which has more of a normalized electric look. This one has a little bit of a pattern to it, but it'll be fine if you're just swinging it around. It'll just look like electrostatic ones. The spirit glitcher. I think this one is the Eternal Eye set chapter five, season two. And I think this was a crew pack. So if you guys have this crew pack one, this is also like a stun baton and it works really, really nicely. I believe in the future, we're gonna be able to get kind of this like cosmic looking one, which looks really cool. And this Rhymebound legacy one is gonna look really good as a stun baton. This one's kind of yellowy for electric. This one is kind of phase and chromatic. All of these work. I wouldn't really go with the green one necessarily. So if you wanna use that one, that's cool. This is a good choice too. You could do the Omnisword and just kit it out. This skinny top here, which is called scalpel, the flank as the guard, or you could even do diverge because that's a really small one. For the back, I would just do this shard for a really small point and then do the oceanic light blue make it look like a stun baton the ice storm also works so it's very close to the oceanic so either way is good you could even change the handle if you wanted to have like a lighter color but i'm fine with either way contrail you could do anything you want really for the contrail this pattern looks like snow and if you're doing the white suit that would be really cool because it's like russian arctic type of stuff this one the snowfaller is good for the snow that's a good one or you could do shardfall in red shardfall in light blue will look really cool too but i like keeping with the color scheme of red and white of course the option that I said before is just doing none. So that works just fine too. All righty. So that's how you do it, guys. That's how you do the black version and the white version. 
So if you want two knockoff versions, you just got them. So thank you guys so very much. And Ethan, thank you for recommending this one in the comments. Again, guys, if there's any skin you want to see me do, just write it in the comments. I have a lot of fun running around as these superhero skins, both the male and the female. And I'm looking to get more when they come back around in the shop. I want to get the other boundless ones. I think Hypersonic was the one I plan on getting next. That's the black male superhero skin because a lot of guys I want to be able to make. Static Shock. I want to be able to make Frozone. There's a bunch of characters that I know how to make. I just don't have the skin for it, so it won't look legit. Like Cyborg was one someone wrote it in the comments, and I want to get to that. When it comes back around in the shop, I'll make that purchase for you guys. And for myself, of course, I'll be able to make a whole lot more of these superhero skins. So guys, thank you very, very much. Really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time right here on T-Soul Games.